onto this video i decided to make a video an actual video on the application of this everyday face is 30 plus mineral based formula sunscreen it says that it is naturally tinted this is a thing uh, everyday face SPF 30 plus sunscreen so by the way on this video I am not sure if I'm looking right on the camera it's been a while that I did not use some cell phone on my video however I just have a hectic schedule and very busy so I decided just to make an actual video and I'm going to use my phone so forgive me if the quality of this video may not be super good so I am just like okay I'll just do it on the phone and upload right away so anyway this is a mineral sunscreen and I decided to make a dedicated video about this sunscreen because uh, as we know mineral sunscreen has a lot of white cast and that is just the normal when we say that mineral sunscreen because of the zinc oxide on the active ingredient of the product so that is the reason we commonly see a white cast so this one it has uh, it is tinted lightly but um, these are just based on my experience everything that i say in here so far of all the mineral sunscreen that i've used i love this one first the consistency of this sunscreen is really great i'm going to show you later the actual application the consistency is very great it's very lightweight and um, it's very easy to apply onto my skin however this is not like the chemical sunscreen that it's really friendly on the skin especially if you apply some makeup it's really friendly it's like uh, you don't see any white cast at all you don't see like white thing onto the face so even if this sunscreen is lightly tinted on my darker skin tone because i am morena i am a filipina and not a white skin tone it really shows a white cast so for me the tint on this one it don't matter because it's still very obvious on the skin and of course that is expected because it is a mineral sunscreen however the good thing on this one is that once you just give time to the product to settle onto your skin to sink in into your skin just give time the product to work and then the white cast would disappear it's like around like five minutes or three minutes and then you would say that uh, there would be no white cast onto your face so that's the advantage of this one same with some of the mineral sunscreen that once you just give time for the product to work then eventually the white cast will subside but some of the mineral sunscreen it really has a very strong white cast that uh, for my darker skin tone it would really show up onto the skin so this one it still show up but just have to wait for a little time another thing about this sunscreen if you are just not um, not so bothered on the scent then you can have this kind of sunscreen because this has like a citrusy scent it seems that it's awkward i'll be looking here or i'll be looking on the other side anyway i was just like looking on the camera and i'm confused where to look at because i don't know where's the camera on this phone in the other side and the other side so i got confused where i would look at so anyway i would just look at on the right side maybe so back on the topic so this is the, the standard for safe sunscreen so of course as what i've mentioned this is a mineral sunscreen so it is expected that the active ingredient is zinc oxide so which is which can cause the white cast onto the skin so now i am just going to show you the actual application of this one and i think i'm not going to be detailed on the act inactive ingredient of the product i'm just going to say that they put a lot of moisturizing and hydrating ingredient on this one and some antioxidant which is really beneficial onto the skin so now i am just going to show you the consistency when i apply this one onto my my face so by the way i don't have any makeup except that i put some lip tint onto my lips and i am using the merit because um i feel like uh, it gives like a little bit of energy when I have my lipstick on or some lip tint or color onto my lips So this is how it looks. This is the consistency. It's kind of watery consistency. It's not sticky and um, It's just like a lotion type. So I'm just going to put this one onto my face So I always like to put uh, sunscreen on uh, closer to my eyes and this one it don't hurt my eyes It's very easy to blend so I like to put some on my neck because I'm getting ready to go outside anyway <laughs> that is the reason I'm also making this video as an actual video so as you can see on that it's very easy to apply and it's very moisturizing so it's still showing white cast even if it says that naturally tinted 
So anyway, this is how it looks and eventually this will uh, sink in into the skin and it will turn into like a matte finish onto the skin. If you have a very sensitive skin, if you have acne prone skin, uh, mineral sunscreen is really great. It's very gentle compared to the chemical sunscreen. However, since I've mentioned that this sunscreen has a fragrance, I would say that there are a lot of options of mineral sunscreen that maybe you could give it a try which has a fragrance free or no fragrance at all. And I would say that uh, it's always better to use a fragrance free sunscreen if you have like acne prone skin type because sometimes fragrance can really irritate the skin so by the way as you can see while I'm talking right here it like it's like uh, it eventually this the white cast like disappear but it's still very obvious on my skin color so maybe if you have a white skin tone then this would not be super obvious but if you have same as my skin tone then expect to have a little bit of white cast but eventually it will um, subside so my honest thought about this sunscreen, this is really great and for the price, that's like below $15. So I purchased this one by the way in Target and I think this is super worth it. It's very affordable sunscreen that I could say or I would say I would recommend this one even if I'm not a dermatologist based on my personal experience because it works in the skin. And So another thing that I would like to emphasize on this sunscreen, if you are just purchasing this one because of the markings here that naturally tinted this is not like the uh, tinted moisturizer that it has a beautiful tint because as you can see on that it's been like two to three minutes right now and i can still see the white cast so the white cast is very obvious still depending maybe on your skin tone um, if you're just going to focus on your pores that's why you are applying tinted moisturizer because you don't want to apply some makeup and um, you just want to have like a natural look well there are still a lot of option right there like a very good tint or tinted moisturizer but if you want to have like a little bit of protection at the same time it has like a little bit of color onto your skin then this one also is a good choice depending on our skin type or skin tone so anyway I think I've shared already and this is just the actual application of the sunscreen because I just want you to see the actual application of the sunscreen because the reason also why I purchase this one because I got attracted or naturally tinted I thought that uh, the tint for the sunscreen is really the nice brown tint but it's not however I would still consider repurchasing this one because um, it's very gentle on the skin and it don't hurt onto my eyes which is I love it because most of the time I am wearing eyeglasses and sometimes it hurt onto the eye especially the chemical sunscreen but I still love chemical sunscreen it's really friendly on the skin especially if I'm putting like foundation and some other makeup. So anyway, that's all about it. And I do hope to see you on my next one. And also uh, this video is maybe like in hurry video because I still have to go outside very soon. So anyway, thank you so much. And I do hope to see you on my next one. And thank you so much for watching my video. Bye bye.